Let's take a quick look at how Remix works. To begin, we'll analyze data in the city of Emmen in the Netherlands. This is population density from the census, and we can overlay the ridership. We can also draw an area to take a look at who lives and works there. This could be a DRT zone, or it could be a neighborhood. Next, let's take a look at the Route 21. We can view the existing coverage of the route, or make a copy and make changes. We can rename it Diversion, change the line color, and move the route. The costs and vehicle requirements update automatically on the left, including if we make changes to the frequency. Remix makes these calculations based on trips, which are shown in this timetable. We can edit the trips in Remix or export the timetable to Excel. To take a closer look, we can open the costing calculator. Here, we see the blocks that will be required when we schedule the service. Remix is a very collaborative tool. It allows planners to interact with each other, compare options, and share maps with colleagues or with the public. Collaboration is very important to planning, and so is presentation. We'll take a look at how to present this diversion map in an efficient way. We can select an icon for the stops that have been cancelled and easily compare the before and after of the diversion. This can also be exported in high resolution, and that's exactly what Remix clients are doing around the world. This is New York's Twitter, and this is how they share detours with the public. Remix works everywhere in the world. This is rural Spain. We can analyze this network by placing Jane on the map and seeing how far a rider can travel in 10, 20, 30, or 45 minutes. The comment bubbles are from my colleagues. I can take a look at new comments, reply in a thread, and keep track of progress on the right. This makes the process more efficient and collaborative. If you'd like to learn more, please reach out at remix.com demo.